Here today in the south south mountain region of uh, North Carolina, fixing to do a little sampling in the creek. Um, here along South Muddy Creek, which is uh, pretty well known for gold. I'm fixing to do some sampling. I've not tried this location before. It's a nice fall day, nice early fall day. It's uh, it's actually kind of warm today, but uh, let me take a look at the creek. I'm going to start right here where this gravel bar is, uh, just along this uh, bend on the inside part of the bend. And there's a gravel bar slightly upstream too of a little bit more size. I'm going to kind of take a look at those with my my gold eyes, my gold pan, and see what I get into. I'm a few pans in my sampling right now. I started in the gravel bar and showed a little bit of uh, fine color on the top. Uh, I proceeded to make my way across the creek, uh, identifying an area of... Uh, older gravels there and actually some uh, um, a bedrock dike that's coming down through the hillside and probably is not very far down in the creek and it's showing some really good color just out of a little bit of material I got quite a few decent flakes so I'm gonna keep working at it and uh, see what I'm coming up with but uh, it's looking pretty good over on the far side back at the creek again uh, I've been doing some painting getting pretty decent fine color um, pretty much wherever I dig some places better than others. Uh, I've been working along some decomposed bedrock, <coughs> getting some uh, better gold out of that. Look on the far side, you can see a place where the banks washed out. Probably a tree came down there some time ago. But uh, it's a nice looking location here. Kind of a small meandering creek. Uh, as I said before, it's well known for gold. Anyway, I'm gonna keep at it. Still got plenty of time left, quite a few hours. Probably going to drop the two-inch dredge in a little while and do some sampling. Just for an idea of what I'm working along, you can see coming out of the bank here some, some old bedrock. It's, it's pretty well decomposed, but it's indicating to me that it's fairly shallow to bedrock right here, which is really good when all you have is a two-inch dredge with you and shovel and stuff like that. But it is being productive. I'm going to keep working on it, and uh, I'll keep you updated as I go. So working here at the creek, um, I finally did bring the two inch dredge in and now it won't pump any water. So didn't get to run the dredge any. There it sits idly by watching me work with a shovel. But uh, I've been getting some pretty good fine gold. A few bigger flakes at times. Um, mainly working on some shallow decomposing bedrock. As you can see a lot better now than you could earlier. I've actually exposed it. It's not very far down. You can see the uh, banding in it, the strata. And if you work kind of down in the depressions and stuff, there's pretty good concentrations of fine gold. The upstream, there's a nice gravel bar. Too much sun there, though. Got another gravel bar. So it's really twisting and turning as it comes through here. Uh, it's been a pretty decent day. The weather's been really good. It clouded up, and then the clouds all moved out, and it's sunny again probably around 72 73 degrees nice perfect fall day I'm gonna get back to work I still got a little bit of time and uh, hopefully I'll get into some really good stuff here in a few just about finished with my day at the creek darkness is starting to set in on me and uh, it's getting close to time to go because I got a three-hour drive to get home but we'll take one last look here at uh, what I've been working on Working on some uh, shallow bedrock. Got a good bit of it exposed right now. We've been really good with a two-inch dredge. Unfortunately, the pump didn't want to work. But uh, you can see the structure of the bedrock, and it's kind of bending back out into the creek here. I'm pretty sure if I keep following along this uh, ledge, I'll do pretty good with the gold. Nothing really huge, mainly just fine gold, but uh, quite a bit of it. So. Anyway, that's going to conclude the day at the creek. So if you like this one, even though it's rather abbreviated, tune in for the next one. It might be a little bit longer.